guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a valentine's day haul and decorate with me this is the first year that i've actually really decorated for valentine's day so i am kind of excited but i'm going to share with you all everything i bought i went to the dollar tree hobby lobby and tj maxx and i did not get a lot i didn't want to go overboard with it the main thing that i'm going to be doing is my tiered tray so i will share with you all how i decorate the tiered tray for valentine's day if you guys are looking for ideas so hopefully i can give you guys some ideas or inspiration if you are looking for how you want to decorate for valentine's day this year if this is your first time on my channel then welcome my name is amy i'm a mom of two and i post cleaning videos daily vlogs decorate with me's basically anything related to motherhood is here on my channel so if that's something you enjoy i hope you will subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well if you like decorate with me videos so that I know you guys enjoyed it, but we are just going to jump into the haul right now. I will, I have everything laid out on my table, so I will show you guys what all I got. So here is a little overview of everything that I picked up. I will start over here. This is pretty much everything I got for the tiered tray. So I got this big banner from Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it or if I'll end up using it now, but I have it just in case. If I use it, I'll probably cut these hearts off and place them somewhere. This also came from the Dollar Tree. They're just little like foam hearts and I thought they were really cute. And then I got this jar from Hobby Lobby to stick the little picks in and it's just red. I got this little beaded rope with the red little like berry looking things on it. This I got from Hobby Lobby. I also got this little llama sign thingy from Hobby Lobby as well and then I got two bags of these conversation hearts candies and I'm just going to fill this cup up with the hearts and put them on the tray I got this really cute just be kind sign this was from TJ Maxx these are the kitchen towels I picked out this year and these are also from TJ Maxx the last thing I got from TJ Maxx was this cute little like flower pot it looks like a coffee cup and it says love on it and I thought this was just really cute I got this little sweet on you sign from Hobby Lobby and I found this adorable coffee mug from Hobby Lobby and I like could not leave without it. I thought it was so cute and so unique. And then I got these from Hobby Lobby. These are probably going to go like scattered in here and I might take a couple and put them on the tiered tray to like just kind of pull the room together. I also picked up this from the Dollar Tree when I was there. It's just like a little art thing for JJ and Olivia. It came with two so I got that for them. And then the living room, as you can tell, is more red and the tear tray is going to be more pink, but I still think they will go together really well. I got this little picture frame to put up on our coat rack. I have a bunch of empty picture frames up there, so I'm going to add the red. And I also got this heart. This was from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to hang this on our coat rack as well. I found these really cute metal like heart ornaments and I thought they matched that one really well. These I'm gonna hang on our mantle. We still have the nails in there from our stockings so I thought it'd be cute to hang those where the stockings used to be. And I got another one of these, the same little Valentine's beaded rope. I'm going to wrap this rope around these two candles and put these in my lantern that I have on the mantle as well. I got this cute love sign. This came from the Dollar Tree. I'm probably just going to like set this up on the mantle. And then the last thing I got is this really pretty beaded rope and it's got a wooden heart on it. And the cute little tassel, I have a large vase up on top of the mantle so I'm gonna just wrap that around it. But that is all the decorations I got for Valentine's Day. You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules On the edge looking out with no parachute You know I'm dreaming about us too Playing around without a clue On the edge cleaning out with us. So I want to say I'm sorry for some of the bad lighting in today's video The only time I had today to film this video was after the kids were in bed So it was already dark outside And I don't have a ring light or box lights right now so I'm just using like our natural lights that we have in our living room. So that's why some parts of this video is kind of dark and just not the best lighting, but I just wanted to explain that to y'all real quick.
really, really loving decorating for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I'd never done it before in the past, and I just love how everything looked and how it fit into our house. And at the end of this video, I'm going to go through and just show you guys everything all complete. So, so make sure you stick around for that at the end of today's video. So I was having the hardest time with this tray at first. I didn't feel like I had enough stuff to fill it and I wanted to hang that little heart on the side of the tray but I just could not get it to stick. So I ended up just taking the little rope that I had and kind of twisting it around everything and stuffing it on the top to just add a little bit more up there on the top and I actually love how it turned out in the end. So here is the finished product of everything that I worked on tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration on how you want to decorate your house for Valentine's Day if you're thinking about it. So don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Leave this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. But again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I wanna be with you. I wanna